After competing on tour for over 30 years, I have the same goals, man. I want to win. I want to compete for Angler of the Year. And I want to win championships. I want to win Red Crest. He needs no introduction. He owns eight Angler of the Year titles and over seven million in career earnings. Representing Strike King and Lose from Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's Kate. V.D. Kevin Bandam! Every day, that's what I think about is, what do I got to do to put myself in position to be there to win? So it is a brand new season, 2022 Bass Pro Tour season. I'm just getting ready to leave Michigan here. We got a big storm coming we're trying to just get ahead of. Got everything all set up. Loaded to go, can't wait to get south. It's always exciting, you know, when we're kicking off a new year. I mean, I've done this so many times. And it's funny, so many times when I leave Michigan, you know, I'm dealing with weather issues, you know, trying to get to Texas or Florida. And, you know, this one's no different. I've been doing this a long time, been on tour for you know, over 30 years now, and I still, I, I'm super fired up this year again. You know, I had a, had a great off season. I'm just ready to get going again. I mean, there's just the excitement about going to a new place. I've never been to Monroe, Louisiana, fishing around that area, so we got some new lakes to, to look at. So this week is a little different than a standard Bass Pro Tour event. We're actually fishing three different bodies of water instead of one for the Bass Pro Tour. So the qualifying round is out here on Lake Darborn, the knockout round is on Caney, and then the championship round is gonna be on Bussy Break. So it's a lot to practice for, it's a lot to plan for. We've got a lot of weather coming in. So this is gonna be a really, really unique event, and it's gonna provide a lot of challenges for the whole field of anglers. This is a really, I mean, this lake looks really fishy. And after a, a long trip from Michigan, 65 degree weather, this is the warmest I've been in a while, so I'm fired up. So it's kind of a off day here today with the practice being canceled and Steve from Steve's Cabin, which is the place where we're all staying at here, he said, man, this is one of the greatest crappie lakes around. So they're having a little crappie cook off. So a couple friends of ours are here. So let's see what they got going. Boys, what do we got going on? Randy, you got some crappie? Yes, sir. So this is Randy. So he's a, he's a old time bass fisherman down here in this region. Steve, Steve's cabin's right here. Look at the crappie. We got us, I think we're gonna be eating good here shortly. I can hear the fryer going, so I've got a Cajun fryer too. That is the best way to do it. These guys in Louisiana, they know how to, they know how to fry stuff. I think I'm pretty good at frying fish, but Randy's been doing it for about 40 years, so. So we planned this fish fry, you know, knowing that we'd be out practicing all day and be able to come in at the end of the day and, and have, you know, dinner ready for us. So, you know, with the little weather snafu with mother nature bringing all this freezing rain and snow in the area, you can see it's cold. I mean, it's only like 33, 34 degrees and it's gonna get real cold tonight. Tomorrow is an actual practice day. So we're gonna have some big fish fry still, but we got to get out there first thing in the morning and, uh, and it's, you know, it's going to be cold. And that's the risk you take this time of year is you never know what mother nature is going to throw at you. So if somebody's going to, you know, find them. These conditions right here are definitely going to test us and your mental ability out there just, just to be able to be there. The one great thing for me, I'm from Michigan. I've got the gear for it. I've got the gloves. I've got the long underwear. I got hand warmers. I got, I'm going to be comfortable and get out there and make the most of my practice day. Our first and only official practice day here at Lake Dearborn at the Bass Pro Tour, first stop of the season. And I'm doing something that I just don't ever do. I'm stopping for breakfast, you know, it's like, you know, 
29 degrees this morning, the wind's blowing, and uh, you know I've got all my warm clothes and stuff on, but I'm gonna, it's gonna start out, we'll get a good, get a good early start still, but get some breakfast. Better to start the day that way. Good idea to start out like this, boys. That right there hit the spot, so it's just starting to crack light, so our timing's perfect. It's definitely cold this morning, you know, everything's, everything's froze up. I had my cover on there and I had a pretty decent sheet of ice on, but uh, you know, the carpet's dry, all my lids are dry. That's something you have to think about on these kind of events like that to make sure you're not having all your lids closed or froze up or anything like that. But a little bit of wind blowing. I know it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna get out there and put it together out here in this place. So. It's cold like this, you gotta go real slow, let the trailer drip off so you don't freeze up the whole ramp for the other guy, so should be pretty dripped off now. Forty-five degree water this morning. It was sixty-two here just a little over a week or so ago, so you know, with one day of practice, uh, you know, I'm gonna just try to you know, learn as much as I can about the lake. Hopefully we can get a few bites. You know, I know in cold water, you know, you're gonna have to throw a thunder cricket, a chick magnet, a red eye shad, you know, some square bills. I can catch them in some of these things, but this is a real shock to these fish's system for sure down here to have a front like this go through. just all about trying to find an area that's got some fish in it today in this practice day and and then I know competition day it's just going to be a grind it, you, it's going to be there's just no way around it and uh, when you get a bite you better better capitalize and execute so just trying to find some good looking water this clearest water that I've seen is up here and that's that's important. There's also a lot of bait here. You know, you're gonna have to find an area that you can generate some bites. You know, here there's a, a pound and a half minimum. I don't think you're gonna have to catch a whole lot. If you, you know, if you can catch three or four bass uh, each day, you're you're probably gonna make it to the knockout round from this one. It's just as tough as these conditions are. So they can't handle. The, oh, I say a good one. It's not. Any bass you catch this time of year, he'd be a scoreable. Get up here, the water's clear. It's snowing, current, it's not a big one. But right at the mouth of this ditch right there between those two trees, he ate it pretty good too. This is a new KVD Elite Series. Jerkbait comes standard with the Mustad KVDs on it and Sexy Shad 2.0. It's just, just a keeper, but hey, We'll take it. I think it's a pickerel too. I think. Nope, <laughs> look at here. Not a big one. They're here. We have a pattern. So practice was a challenge in itself, you know, I mean, we came down here, drove all the way down from Michigan, that huge front kind of followed us all the way through and hit all that snow and ice and, and really dropped the temperatures down here. They canceled the first day of practice. So effectively, we got one day of practice for Dearborn. One day on this lake, especially in these real cold conditions, just, I didn't turn up a lot. You know, I tried to see a little bit of everything I really only found one area that I felt had everything that fit my style that I got any bites in. So, and I got several bites. So, you know, optimistically confident after practice for sure. Tackle prep is super critical to me because it's the time not only to make sure that you got everything prepared, you know, your hooks are sharp and everything, you got the right size line on your poles and stuff like that. but 
it's also that time where you mentally go over your game plan and what you've seen out there on the water and what you want to make happen. So I get a lot of thinking done during this time when I'm working on it. So I spend hours and hours, countless hours on tackle prep. So it's day one, brand new season here on the Bass Pro Tour. We're in Monroe, Louisiana, and man, it's cold. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out this morning, buddy. You know, I'm fired up. You know, it's just great to be back out in the water. You know, these tournaments like this that are real tough, man, if you can just get a little something going, you can do it and, and stay in the game. You know, I think mentally, I know I'm gonna stay focused all day long. I've got from nine till five today to grind it out. I really have, you know, one general area that I've got some confidence in. So I'm gonna just do everything I need to do and just keep grinding and try to generate some bites. You know, five pounds was the cut line yesterday after the first group. So, and 21 pounds is leading. So that's probably the lowest weight I've ever seen on the Bass Pro Tour. I'm gonna be casting all day long. I'm fishing my style, my strengths, the way I love to fish, the base that I love to throw. That's how I've got confidence. And that's what you have to do. When things get tough, you've got to go and fish your strengths and keep your head in the game. A legend in the sports, representing Bass Pro Shop, striking and lose, KBD Kevin Vandale! First term of the year, you want to get off to a good start. And I just said, man, I know it's going to be tough and you got to keep grinding, keep that positive attitude. It says it on the back of my truck. It's all about the attitude. And it was killing me, man. I did not have a scoreable bite until pretty late in the, in the day. And I finally, finally caught one. And then shortly after that, man, I lost a really good one. And it, you know, could have been a turning point. I didn't get upset or frustrated. I said, nah, I know what I need to be doing right now. And I just kept running and grinding. And I just knew I had one more stop to make and bam. It was like magic. I, you know, I caught them back to back to back to back right there in the last 10 minutes. So that's why you grind and you cast till the very end. And, and sometimes you can make it happen like that. I've done it lots and lots of times over the years like that. And if you have a bad attitude, you're never gonna give yourself in that position. So it's a great finish to a really, really tough day. I've been watching you for 15 years. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, you were the first professional fisherman I came to know. I'm Brandy. Brandy, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. It is, oh my gosh, so excited. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Hopefully that's worked out. Kevin, thank you, man. Good luck. Thank you. Man. Good luck. Appreciate it. How's it going? Good luck. Finished real strong at the end of the day. Been signing, fit, you know, autographs for a lot of fans and stuff. And at the end of the day, I'm the last guy here. And look who I run into. I'm in Monroe, Louisiana, and this is the Mountain Man. Hey, look at here. Hey, uh, I've been waiting all day Have for you. Have you ever shot a duck? I have one or two one, anyway. One or two, man. Mm, that's awesome. That's some good eating, y'all. What, you got a fish tomorrow or two? Uh, I got the, the group A fishes tomorrow, and then we go again the following day here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can catch them here, and then we get to go over to Caney and play over there. Oh, that's where the big boys are yeah, on Caney now. that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you what to throw over there. I'd no, you, you can't give me any info. No I got a pretty info. good idea anyways. Okay, well, I ain't going to tell you to use crickets, so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. You I bet, tell you too. Yes, sir. Y'all ready to go? I'm getting hungry. Me too. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, that's old Mountain Man and Duck Dynasty show, y'all. <laughs> gotta love this stuff. Mm. Booyah! Hey. Well, ain't ain't bad, huh? Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> Not every day. <laughs> cool. Appreciate it, man.
So it's day two here at Dearborn. You know, I finished the day strong, ended up in seventh place with that last flurry at the end of the day. And give me a ton of confidence going into today. So, you know, the definite goal is to make sure to make it to that knockout round. We wanna, we wanna get to Caney Lake. I've got to practice it. It's a real pretty lake, just night and day different than this right here. But we got a live camera with us today, so we're gonna, you know, hopefully catch all the action and you know, just have a, a solid day. I'd love to be able to catch Jared Littner. He, he really had a great first day and anything can happen. I saw how fast it can happen and I, I feel really good about what I'm doing and where I'm doing it, the way that I'm fishing. So should be really interesting to, to see, but the main goal is just to move on to the knockout round. today was uh, a good day in the fact that I mean right off the bat I, I caught like a, a four and a half pounder and I knew that would you know solidly be enough to make the cut and I've tried to catch more than that but you know it's just a good feeling to not be on the cut line so many times I've been right there and it's just you know just like today man there was a lot of drama at the end of the day but you know I wasn't part of it I think I ended up fifth for for this round we're going to Caney Lake that's the cool thing about this week and the challenging thing is that all three rounds are on different lakes so it's a it's a unique lake I got to practice there one day it's got clear water it's got hydrilla and it's got some big fish so just looking forward to moving on to the knockout round I basically caught all my fish on a Strike King Series 3 in different crawdad patterns, you know, a Denny Brower craw, the baby carp, kind of that, that was brown craw type patterns. It's a great cold water bait and uh, something I go to in tough conditions a lot. You know, it's a small profile, it's got a pretty tight action to it, it's got flat sides, so it's just a great bait for this time of year. So we are here for the morning of the knockout round and uh, man, it feels great to get the season off to a good start, you know, or at least I've got it this far. Now I got another challenge. You know, this lake is much clearer. It's got a lot of grass. It fishes actually like a, kind of like a mini Rayburn. With these conditions, high bright skies, it's gonna be a little bit different. You know, I spent a day of practice over here and it, it was tough. This lake has got a lot of big fish though. I did figure one little thing out though that I think I might be able to make work. So I gotta just get a game plan together to get some of these big ones on the score tracker. I wanna make that championship round bad. Coming up next, he needs no introduction. Representing Strike King and Lose from Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's KVD Kevin Van Dam. Today was one of those days I knew it was going to be tough out here at Caney Lake. You know, we had high bright skies, post frontal conditions, but you know, I started out pretty strong in the first period, caught a couple, really had a, a pretty good start to the day and just couldn't keep the momentum going. You know, I caught a couple more unscorables and, and one more that did and just in the last period couldn't generate enough bites and ended up finishing, you know, 11th. and but still a good solid start to the season. It's so important to get off to a good start on the Bass Pro Tour for AOI points and Red Crest and, and all that. It feels good, you know, under these tough conditions to come out of here, at least with a solid finish. I'm gonna hit the road, head home, get back, reorganize, kind of get all my stuff replanned out and then turn right back around and drive to Lake Fort. So that one we're gonna be at in mid-February. It's prime time. Hopefully mother nature is a little nicer for that week. <laughs> 